So hello everyone, uh, this video will be about how we moved all this wood here, which we'll be using as firewood. How we moved that out of our forest with minimal impact to the ground uh, using a cable logging system. And we managed to do that just with a 46 year old tractor with 50 horsepower. I'd like to share how that works. So this requires only two meters of clearance for the length of the cable and then you can winch in wood from up to maybe 15-20 meters depending from the side. So it gives you quite a big area that you can uh, harvest just by using a two meter clearing down the middle. So these are a couple of bumps, like an old root plate and then this bump here. This is the main path of the logs, so these got hit quite a bit with all the wood. But as you see where we move on here, it's just barely, barely scraped off some of the mossy and the, the vegetation. There's absolutely no compactation happening down deep and uh, no deep tracks that will take decades and decades to heal. Um, the ground is mostly undisturbed. And especially if you look to the sides, this is where we thinned. There was a bunch of uh, logs in here, like bigger piles, that we were able to just winch out and you can barely even see that we were there. Bye. Zwei, zwei, eins, stopp!
with a cable logging system the wood is winched out of the forest with minimal impact to the forest itself and the ecosystem there. Processing and handling of the logs happens on the landing side uh, where the heavy machinery only impacts a small area and not the forest. This cable logging system is run by a skidding winch with two drums and proper brakes and an additional reel to assist in setup with the main wire and to store it when not in use. It requires very little horsepower to run. 35 horsepower is enough. In this case, we have 50. What you need though is a tractor that has enough lifting capacity to lift the whole winch when all the wire and rope is on it. To operate the system you need two people, one operating the winch at the landing and one in the forest preparing the loads, hooking them to the cable and those two people need to be able to communicate in order to prevent any accidents and make the workflow efficiently. Stop. Okay, unseen. Yeah. Three, two, one, stop. So here are some concluding thoughts. The reasons for me to use a cable logging system is to save the forest and the ground and to have more trees left after thinning uh, because you don't need wider tracks for machines. And the only thing that points to there having been a thinning operation in the forest is the stumps and the brush that is left behind.